All right, everyone. Sorry, this uh, video is coming way late. Uh, very busy. Been kind of sick. Uh, you might be able to hear it in my voice, but as promised, green white dinosaurs. Um, I know it's people ask on Instagram uh, what everything was. You know, of course, which is good. Oh, and fantastic news! I uh, figured out our gaming channel is now officially sponsored by Humble. Uh, you know, they got the gaming company that. You know, you well, you pay a monthly subscription, they let you get games for way under cost. So yeah. So I'll be posting uh something, you know, a nice little link, our reference link, which will help out the channel greatly if you get into that. It's actually really worth it. I plan on subscribing here soon. Um just to kinda, you know, I mean they sponsored us, so might as well try it out. So anyways, I don't really have a lot of time. It's uh, very late for me. I'm busy in the morning, so let's jump right into it. Probably just get one game in. Would you guys check this out? A best two out of three if uh, the other player doesn't drop. So, all right. Select our deck. And I actually, um, you won't get to see any of my other videos coming up soon. You'll probably see them this week. I'll be pushing them out a little bit more frequently, hopefully. Um, I got other formats because, of course, my first video was modern. Um, not too big of a fan of modern, except for certain, you know, decks that I enjoy playing. Um, but that's just me, though. I'm not big on, like, the super, you know, expensive modern decks that, you know, like the Jund, oh, uh, was it Jund Death Shadow, and that was a thing I was trying to build around that, and just didn't work out too well for me. But, anyways, let's see if we can't find somebody here. This deck's not super competitive, but it, I've played against some uh, some control decks and it's done fairly well. So yeah, oh, here we go. Uh, so many things I want to talk about with Magic too. I mean, I'm about to do a whole other video on it. So, you know, with the recent events of the different bannings and stuff like that, it's been, I wouldn't say tricky um, with, you know, the game lately with the way, how do I word this? I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's just, in all reality, you know, you gotta have respect, 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 <laughs> for, um, other players. I mean, really, like, actually, it's something I like to do here. Hold on. Even, you know, if someone I don't even know on the internet, you know, you can make friends with people on here and just do friendly, uh, you know, just friendly matches. And that's always fun. You know, the game, I get it, can be competitive. But to a point, I don't feel like, you know, if you, you know, you lose constantly, which, you know, happens kind of when you start out, especially when you play against veteran players. I know I did, um, especially with some of my homebrew decks I was trying out. You know, but that's the thing, though, is when you get in a casual match with the homebrew deck and it wins, it feels so good, which is something I enjoy doing. And something I'm probably going to keep doing um, is playing homebrew decks. I'm not a big fan of net decks. I just feel, you know, you don't get to expand yourself as a player. And you don't get to experiment and see what works and can even beat some of the bigger decks. But, um, you know, it's just all really preference, I feel like. Flying whatever it is up there. Okay, cool deal. Um, anyways, no, I just feel like there needs to be a little bit more respect with um, players nowadays. I just don't see why people are so hateful sometimes and just have to be so derogatory to each other. It's just not. It's not what magic was based around. You know, it was. It's just a really you know a fun game. For people to get into and I would like to see a lot more people get into it it's not necessarily something mainstream and that's okay it doesn't this game doesn't isn't meant to I feel like be mainstream but I know when they first um, started Magic the Gathering they couldn't make enough cards to keep up with demand and now you know there's so many being printed it's it's awesome it's fantastic many players show up to events and stuff like that but I like you jumping around on this this topic I just uh, <laughs> It's something I got into back when Innistrad came out. Um, I'll see what that does in a minute. And I've enjoyed it ever since. It's just been such a great game. Um, I don't regret any money I've spent with it. It's just been awesome. Oh, Tomb with Ether here. What if this guy's running energy? 
This should be interesting. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, I go to some local shops, and my controversial thing is <sighs> a lot of the veteran players don't care to teach the newer players, like especially the ones that are really competitive. They don't care to really take the time and teach other players. They kind of stick with their own niche. And it is really a bother in a way. And it sucks because, I mean, how do you expect, you know, I get you guys, you know, some of these guys, like, well, you know, like I'm one of the best, you know, and all that. I get the whole high and mighty thing. I, I guess you could say that. I'm once they're trying to be high and mighty. But, I mean, come on, take some time in between rounds or something. You've probably played through your deck a hundred times. You've played it at a very, almost every F F and M you've been to. Just teach. <sighs> I'm not really sure how to put this. I mean, I guess just take time out of your busy day or whatever. And oh, me talking. I should have savage stomped with this guy on him, but I did not. Just kind of, you know. Try to expand and help the community grow. And I mean, I hate to see new players come in and they just kind of want to up and quit after a, even a month of playing because they're like, well, I'm not good enough. It's like, is anyone, you know, do you have anybody just sh trying to show you how to be better at this? And wait, this should cost me two less. Ah. See why it's not. That's okay though, because Kinjali's car will want to make it a little bit bigger to do stuff. Um, Hammer Skull probably would have been better choice. Keep it out of any kind of burn range. But anyways, yeah, it's just it's one of those things that's been irking me, man. And this should, or everyone on YouTube, there's you know not being sexist here. <laughs> not only men play Magic, believe me on that. My girlfriend plays. She actually plays this deck at F and M, and she loves it. Um, and she plays for EDH. Mono Blue Orthos or that or Skithrix and she just wrecks with it. It's awesome to see her play. Anyways, enough about that. <laughs> we'll get to we'll eventually just talk about that more later. But you know, it's just some you know, just food for thought, I guess. Just something I've been thinking about. Mm. Anyways, into the match here. So green white budget dino. This deck's pretty budgety, no no carnage tyrants. Um what really caught my eye to make this deck was Belligerent Brontodon because of his ability. Yes, he's a 7-drop for a, what, 4-6, but he can do 6 damage with his 6 defense, and he's a big blocker. So I was looking at different times. I was like, is this worth uh, looking into? I was like, Ripjaw, you know, 4-5 gets in for 5. That's pretty good. Uh, Looming Ultasaur, 1-7 that I can reduce with this guy. Swings for 7. I've won games with it. It's uh, fantastic. So I figured, you know, I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and, and do this. Oh, well, let's see here. Do we want to take out the Nisa? Let's see, she's at a 5 loyalty. Hold on. Let's have a look here. Zero, look at the top card. Da, da, da. She gets up to 6, untap 2 target lands. Become five, five elementals. Um, Nisa, you're not long for this world. Let's just say that now. Yeah, we can get, we can kill the Nisa. Let's do it. I've got, I mean, I've got two more blossoming defenses. It doesn't bother me to use my third of my, I actually should have four in the deck. Um, but I think I messed up on my order with MTGO traders and didn't put another one in or another cast out, which I think I took one out of the deck to get different removal, like Savage Stomps and all that and Prey Upon and Pounce. Um, which I think I'm going to get rid of the other Prey Upon for another Pounce, just because I like the instant speed. Prey Upon is good, though, but I think I'm just going to run mostly Savage Stomps for that uh, plus one bonus, because that does trigger Rip Jaw, which I think I need to get a third Rip Jaw, which on paper I have acquired two of them finally. Oh, thank God. You know, which is great. <laughs> mm. I would love to show off my placing FNM Red Green Dino deck, but I really don't want to invest in the money to uh, put it on here. Because Carnage Tyrant is an expensive card still for me, for a guy on a budget. I build mostly budget decks, which is, you know, I can show you some good ones, which I eventually will be doing a popper video. Um, I will be giving credit to the man 
on YouTube, Strictly Better MTG. Check out his channel. He's pretty cool. Um, who actually built the decks, because I have no idea where to start with Popper. I had no freaking idea. But uh, <laughs> um, now that I, I was looking and I was like, you know, and this video kind of popped up on my feed. And I was like, you know what? Let's check it out. And I was like, okay, cool. I can get behind this. For decks under $5 a piece, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Do we want to attack him? Wait, yeah. Mmm. You can go after Tezzeret. Yeah, you go after Tezzeret. You're going to the dude's face. Hmm. We'll keep both blossoming defenses, though, because I think that Hexproof gets around Tezzeret's ability. Not sure, though. I mean, I've been playing for a while, but there's still some things I do question. I kind of want to study more and become an official judge for certain things, but, you know. Yep, knew he was going to do that. Mm, I, gotta, I can get rid of Tezra next turn. I should, though. I realized the deck, I think I need to make it a little more creature-heavy, which I did before this video. I literally added one creature and took out, like, one instant or sorcery. I can't remember. Um, because I found the creatures were kind of lacking because my other deck, the Red Green Dino, is heavy on creatures. Like, I'm running two Carnage Tyrants, three Rigorous Alphas, um, two Burning Suns Avatars, and one main board, one side, I believe. Oh, what else was there? Raptor Hatchlings, dro four Drovers of the Mighties, four Otapek Hunt Masters for the, you know, mana reduction cost, and all that jazz, you know. Here we go. Let's just dump that white out. Looming Altasaur here. Mm, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, your sky dude's not gonna last for a while. You're gonna probably. We're gonna make you lose Tezra Liliana, buddy. I don't want you to feel like five seconds. Decide on server, like I was telling you. What? No. Decide, decide. Are you? I thought you were talking in your sleep for a second. I am doing a video. Oh, oh. You're good. I, I honestly thought you were talking in your sleep because I had no idea what the hell you were just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to get rid of the Leon or the Tezzeret? Let's get rid of the Tezzeret. Uh -huh. Blasphemy Defense. Oh, you're okay. Let's see. There's no more Tezzer from the board. This is good. Liliana can sit for a minute. I just need to get my Belligerent Bronson on. Now I'm about to start top decking. This is not good for me. <laughs> this deck normally runs better off camera, which is weird, but let's just see what happens. Because, I mean, I don't know his decks. So his sideboarding would help. You know, here, grazing two of my grazing whip tails. I'm thinking about running three. I'm just going down to three community dinosaurs because I've got one on the sideboard, but I don't know yet. Ah, I know in processions. Wait, he's got every color in this deck. That's crazy. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, and only processions triggered, so you got two zombies. Okay, that threw me off. That's okay, though. Ugh, a Sun Petal Grove. This is why. See, I ran 21 lands. Not enough. Running 22. Yeah. Oh, I see what he's going to do. He's going to try to swarm me out. Let's just hit Liliana, shall we? Or go for it. He's going to chump block with the zombies. He's like, oh, I'm going to get two more anyways. Yep. Yeah. Liliana last tip was probably one of the best ones ever printed, though, just because of her final ability. When that emblem got on the board, you know, it's, uh, that's, you know, that those zombies can get out of hand. And then even if you clear them off, she, you know, she still gets two. And then after that, you know, it's just a constant thing. Dude's like running super friends or something. He's just throwing every planeswalker he's got. That's probably why he's like, hey, it's working for him. Whoa, whoa, hold on. This guy gets to make dino tokens. And more, yeah, more planeswalkers. Okay. Uh, 
Ага. So super friends it is, is what I'm seeing here. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, come on. Yeah, prey upon. Let's just get rid of uh, the order zombie token, I guess. Good deal, prey upon, good deal. I think he's going to have us on this one. Just because board state. Yeah, let's go to combat. Let's just attack him. I probably should have been attacking his face this whole time. Oh, what the heck? I thought I made you attack. Okay, never mind. One dino, two dino. You think that'll be enough? Nah, buddy. You're not gonna kill mine with those two guys. As much as I love dinosaurs, those aren't those are guys are just not gonna. Well, at least one of them gets to stay, but I'm getting to keep my looming altasaur. Wish I can jolly sun wing out. That would be great. And the hammer skull still. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Should have got rid of that tether faster fasters when I shut it down. Da -da -da -da, does one damage to me. Sometimes though we get to like a game three and I either one of us loses by a clock out and that's really annoying. Something I can't stand on here. It's like, oh hey, you guys don't get to go to rounds like we do at FNM. You know. Which sucks. Hey cost. Come on now. That'll be one of those things that your turn takes forever. Because I like I know what I like to do most of the time. And I'm like, yeah, let's play my turn. Hurry up before the clock gets me. He's got one card in hand. Let's block the 3-3 three, three dino, just for the sake of it. Pump spell. I'm betting there is. Nope. <gasps> oh! Maybe too little too late, but we're going to find out. Here we go. We're going to probably... No. Nah, we'll set, We'll hang back. Granted, he's going to make more tokens, but... Oof. Yeah, he's going to have up to six zombies and up to five dinosaurs. I can only block so much. He's going to keep making more. Yeah, he's coming in with the team. Time to block. Block time. You block one mature dino. You block another dino. And you block another dinosaur. Yeah, he's getting in for all the zombies, though. Down to four. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even trigger any of his planeswalkers yet. I'll be astounded if he forgets. Oh, wow. Wow, good deal. So that's your out. Is your Bonte's Last Reckoning. Kind of like mine's Hour of Devastation. Like, I would have easily used it Hour of Devastation right there. If I was running my other deck. So like, yeah, Hour of Devastation, go to combat. Hit you for a bunch. Come on. There we go. Even if this dude wins, he better not drop on me. I'll be so mad. Because I want to try to beat this guy. I hate it when they win and they drop. It's like, seriously, you wanted to win just one game? It's not like we have a track record or anything on here. Swing with the Lonely Dino? Or do stuff? I mean, you kind of have game, dude. I have no cards in hand. Or just swing with the Lonely Zombie. I know, I think it's weird how people send them swinging with the team when you can just get for an exact amount of damage. Okay, yes, I understand what you're doing. You're being, okay, he's being this guy. He's like, I just want to play out my turn. 
Look, dude, I get it. Like, no, it's annoying. Yeah, select all your dudes. Eat up more of the clock. I'm just going to hit, keep hitting OK because I have less time than you. Begin sideboard. Let's get in that sideboard. Let's see what we can do here, gents and ladies. Ladies and germs. Graveyard fragment ties might work. Appetite for the unnatural. Maybe destroy target. Yeah. Um, what to take out? What to put in? What to put in? Hmm. Let's do this thing. So I know I don't like to have less than two sometimes of things. Let's take out Prey Upon. It didn't really work too well. Um, whip tail's good. Hmm. Larger than life might help, but I think I'm going to sideboard it out on this one. Wish I was on Twitch. I could have like, hey, chat, what do you guys think? <laughs> Avatar for the Unnatural is actually very good with this situation I'm in. Throw two of those in there. Fragmentize. That wouldn't be bad. Um... Maybe too much land? I don't know. Let's get rid of it. One commune. I know that sounds crazy. Um, creature with flying. What do we want to run more artifact tape? Now nah, let's stick with a commune. Wait, why is that a blossoming defense there? Why is that there? Did I move that by accident? Let's go with it. Let's try it. I keep the Ashes of Everwort in there for eternalized stuff. Ah, I'm mad. He never messaged me back. Like, hey, good boy. He's probably one of those guys. Who knows? Yes, yeah, so I would like to play first. <sighs> no. Yes. Yes. Keep. I don't like going down to five. Oh, yes. Keep. I mean, yeah. That's what I like to see turn one. And a Kanjali's collar is good. But uh, I really like this guy. For the sole fact I get to gain life. And that's actually going to help me out. Hopefully late game. I've seen the state get almost a 40 life in a standard game. It's uh, awesome. You know, a little slow. But that's even just with the Priest of the Awakening Sun sitting on the board for so long. Oh, let's uh, have to always yield. Make this move a lot faster. Gain two life. Let's do a force. Ah, no reduction cost. And to get you in there for one, buddy. Wonder if he's got fatal pushes. That would help him out a lot with uh, the priest. Which I do like the priest because he kind of gets, uh, kind of baits fatal pushes, I, I guess. They're like, oh, he's gaining life, let's get rid of this guy. And then, you know, they can't use it to remove anything bigger later. So, unless he's got to walk the flank. So, you get to see Lumi Altasaur again. Oh, do we want to save the appetite? Nah, let's get this Sunwing out here real quick. Didn't see that coming, did you? So, this is good. We might take him to game three. I'm hoping we do, and hopefully we don't lose to clock out. Um, I just gotta be quick. This deck's not super quick. The other one is, this one's kind of more of a, let's drag you out a little bit while I've got a bunch of life. And hit you big later. <laughs> Nothing for you? Nothing. You've got nothing, bro? Oh, I need another white, not white, I need another green source. Let's drop, hmm, let's get Looming Ultasaur out here. No. Yes. Uh, let's do it. Oh, excuse me. Just because the more damage, the bigger board state I get, the faster. I, mean, I know he's got a Bonte's Last Reckoning in the deck. I don't know how many he's running. I know there was a guy who, who uh, had a Jun deck that did place at a tournament that he only ran one, and it was sideboarded. Which, I mean, is kind of good. I did run only, like, one hour of Devastation in my deck. Wasn't bad. Bonte's Last Reckoning? Annoying processions, okay. Ooh, we can get rid of that real quick. I'm so glad I sideboarded Appetite in. You need to look at my grazing whip tail, buddy. Ooh, Sun Petal Grove. 
you know, move to combat. You're all tapped out. Let's not play grazing with I want to keep gaining life on off of this. So uh, four damage in there. I'm gonna gain two life. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Cause that's my biggest threat in all honesty. And biggest in the one. Hopefully, I draw another appetite. I'm up to thirty life. How does it feel? We're going to hold Grazing Whiptail in hand for a while, too, because, I mean, I'm getting in for four damage already. Yeah, another three is good, but uh, we want that that life gain still. And if he drops a Bonte's Last Reckoning, ooh, you had to spend a whole other turn on dropping another Anointed. Ooh, if I get a pump spell, this could be all over. Nope. Let's, uh... I think I'm going to go ahead and play the Grazing Whiptail, because I'm at 30 life. We should be okay. 32 life to be exact. My bad. And, yeah, you know what? Because next turn, if he doesn't get a creature, it's lethal. Let's see. We're going to find out here. Even if he's got a Bonte's Last Reckoning, I mean... I, I'm, I'll am start top decking at an extremely healthy 32 life when he's sitting at 7. So let's find out. Bonte's Last Reckoning? I bet it's going to be. I bet I played myself. I played myself. Yep. Yep. He's got nothing else, though. Oh, Pounce. Okay. Yeah, I goofed. I just made myself look a little bit silly. Oh, man, it's going to come back and bite me. Oh. Let's just get enough out there to play um, Awakening Sun's Avatar. That would be nice, because that's lethal for him. If he gets any creatures. Actually, that's the key to my victory, is Awakening Sun's Avatar. Okay, Liliana, cool. Please let me get Awakening Sun's Avatar. That would be fan-freaking-tastic. And I'm at a very healthy life total. Oh, Exile, Target, Permanent. Yeah. No more zombies for you. I'm not having it. Could get, could have got rid of the annoying processions. That doesn't stop creature production. So yeah. Oh boy, can we find an answer? I'm hoping we can find an answer. It feels so good to go over game three. I love going to game threes because it's more, much more intense. But if I can beat someone too straight, it's nice. And an F and M, of course. <sighs> I also hope we lose because I really want to go to bed. <laughs> I had to, I made a video earlier, it was nice, um, didn't realize I messed with my hotkeys, and I muted it almost the entire video, it was bad, exile target creatures, oh wow, wow, that a Johnny ability though, that's gonna hurt, um, me, after I play a creature, you know, so we're gonna have to give him an option of what creatures he wants to deal with, oh, he's gonna get We'll say, we'll wait, we'll say Pascal, because he would do it too. I didn't realize he was in, in the newer sets, actually, the unyielding. Oh man, he's going to pop him off too, that's awful. I just hope I can get some littler guys. Yeah, I played myself with that grazing whip tail. I should not have done that, because I probably could have done him in by now. If not, it came pretty dang close. Oh, wow, sound of the test. So, yeah, this dude's running just a rainbow deck. It is a just-for-fun deck, though, it seems. Okay, yeah, yeah. Get in there for six. At least he's not making any more tokens. I did a good play on that. I just, I can't believe I fell into the Bonte's Last Reckoning. I don't know how many he plays in his deck. Let's try to get ourselves something good here. Won't be able to get the, the Brontodon, though. That sucks. He probably will remove my, uh, my Sunwing. 
and drop as a giant. I mean, he can double nag it, but I think he's going to want to go for those counters instead. We will find out. It looks like he doesn't have a whole lot of money. Yep. I can find some way around that. I don't think I can. Yeah, yeah, give him double strike. I almost want to play the belligerent Bronton on just to not give him the Johnny any breathing room. Oh, great, Tizzer. Come on. Yeah, come on now. Forget about it. Let's do this. Ooh, if only I had a blossoming defense. I had three last game. I also just kind of want to keep his Johnny down. Because I know he's just going to neg it. Um, so that way he keeps from getting a bunch of counters on the single zombie he owns and giving it double strike and kill me quick. So you never know. I can probably pull out of this. But we don't know yet. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yep. Even if we lose, I'm still going to play another game because, I mean, I'm tired, but I also hate leaving a video off with just a straight loss. It's nice to get a win in there. Sure thing, buddy. Yep, Sunwing. Because I can. Keep your Ajani down some more. If I keep drawing creatures, that'll be nice. Because I bet he's he'll give up the Ajani. He'll just be like, yeah, I'm going to keep nagging him. Like, well, I'm going to drop this big dude and hit you in the face. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Mr. Super Friends over here. He runs like maybe one creature in his deck, it looks like. Here's my soda. Ooh, I'm out. They might doing red white dinos though. I'm running both the avatars, the burning suns and the awakening suns. Yeah. Oh, he's going to keep the agenda. Wait. Oh, he probably used Tezzeret. Come on. Oh boy. Dang it. Let's just do this. That would have been great earlier. That would have been great last game. He's probably just going to neg two Johnny, though, and get rid of it. Come on. Yep. He's not gaining life, though. That's weird. I wonder... To its power? Oh, I've been gaining the life. I didn't realize that. Oh, look, he's going to go look for a Planeswalker. Can't play Liliana, can you, buddy? I'm actually really excited for Magic, uh, the Gathering Arena to come out, because I'd rather be doing that with uh, my red-green dinos. Oh, Nickel Bulls. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. He's running every color under the sun. This deck wouldn't stand up at FNM, though. <sighs> I would have already killed you if I uh, just didn't play myself. That's also one thing. Like, You don't want to dump your entire hand if you don't have to, and I didn't have to at that point. That was just really stupid of me.
This dude's got nine cards in hand. And a Jace. Yeah, he's just running like Turbo Super Friends for standard. This is kind of funny. Yep, 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 yep. Keep making dudes. Oh, that's the card I'm missing. Oh my gosh. Wait, how did my Lumi... Okay, what just happened? Oh. Oh, da -da -da -da. oh ouch. Oh, da -da -da -da. No, yeah, um, what was I just saying? Hour of Revelation is what I'm missing, because that actually... That's why I have an answer, like a Bonte's Last Reckoning, but instead of that, I have an hour. Um, there was two in my original sideboard, and I should probably pick those up on MTGO Traders, because actually that would just, I'd be like, yeah, let's get rid of all your stuff, um, because why? Because, no, <laughs> I really wish I had, had that right now, I wish I had that in hand, but yeah, blah, but granted, he does get his Liliana back, um, which, of course, if I'd had an hour of relation starting hand, you know, I probably wouldn't even play played Ixalan's Binding. I probably would have, though, knowing me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you made a lot of tokens. Oh, he's got double annoying procession now. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. I'm just going to keep passing stuff on. Yeah, let's just pass my entire turn. Hit the OK button. Thank you. I'm actually going to be mad if he sends me one single message just saying GG. I'm like, really? Like, I even told you good luck and everything. To like, how cocky are you about this game? Like, I go into games thinking, you know, I got a tournament. I, I, I aim to be number one. I've never placed first at an FNM. Um, but my thing is, you go in there like a samurai going into battle. You expect death that way. You know, like, it's something about it. It's like, no matter the outcome, you know. It's something weird like that. It's it's you expect death, but it will help you come out on top if you just expect it to happen because you actually kind of play around it and you uh, find victory. Okay, dude, play. Just come on, stop triggering. You, we, I get it. You have a massive board state. Can you just swing for game? You didn't have to give him double strike. Just swing for game. I can't stand people do this stuff. It's like, come on, like if I've got. A massive combo in hand, but I've got game right then and there. I'll just swing for game. Yes, come on now. Okay. You got it. We're going to go play another game because this one did not turn out how I wanted it to. Trigger ability. I don't worry. Who cares about trigger abilities? All right, good deal. Single game. Yes, please. I want to go to bed. Young Wolf. Green white dino, come on. This deck can do work. It's just I had these past few times. I think I just need to go back to the original deck list. That's something I need to do. Um, I altered it too much because I mean I get no deck is perfect, but if you try to fix something that's not broken, it doesn't end well. Um, man, do we want to turn three hammer school and have that be the only thing we get? No, because cast out, we cycle it. Let's cycle cast out first turn. I know normally like, oh, wait till end of, you know, wait till their turn, but you know what? Uh, it's turn one. So. Okay, cool belligerent Bronson on. That's good while you're in the game. You can kind of control the board state a little bit. Oh boy, tune with ether. I wonder what kind of energy dick this guy's playing. If it's Tamir, that'd be good. I know someone tried saying Tamir's the best. I love to the, you know, rug, but uh, Tamir energy is definitely not the best deck in the format. It was, but I'm pretty sure William Jensen lost to it. Tomorrow, no, he was playing, hey, serve the conduit. He was playing, Jun not Jun rug, but I think he lost to Red Deck wins. 
and a best three out of five, but I'm not sure. Cool, server the conduit. We're gonna wait to see his bigger stuff before we try to cast anything out. Let's drop another forest. Sorry for the extra light clicking, my mouse is busted, so gotta use my little touchpad and my little uh, clickers on my laptop. The best part is about Hammer Skull, it actually beats a server of the conduit. Ah, you would do that. Or is it just red green energy? That would be interesting to see. Little do you know, buddy, I've got another Hammer Skull that I can actually defend. So try that abrade one more time. Let me see how that works out for you. Or lightning strike, either one. Those are some nice rebound crags you got there. Oh, it's all green. Cool, a rip jaw. I have the same card, friend. And Oh, keep give me a land, please. Can I get a land? I want that for yes. That's a five. Let's force you to do something here. Those rip jaws are cool, but I want to only be the only guy that plays rip jaw. So we're gonna actually tap yours down, and we're gonna get rid of it. We're gonna make sure you can't play anymore after this. <laughs> we're gonna be that guy. That's also the thing I like about white, is you get this option to do stuff like this. Let's see here. No ripjaw for you. You get to play none of them. I only get to play ripjaws. <laughs> I'm keeping this hammer skull too. Whether you like it or not, I get to keep him. Then he's got enough to play with enough burn spells. He's got four cards in his. I wonder if he's got a glory bringer. That would hurt. If he did, he would have already he would have played it. He would have exerted it, killed off Hammer Skull, you know. Ooh, coming with dinosaurs. Let's go look for the other planes we need. Ooh. Ooh, let's get a rip jaw. That was tempting. I and the reveal do you know what? Let's keep it. let's get rip jaw out there. Like, I can, I'm the guy that gets to play Ripjaw, not you. Granted, you know, we can lose Hammer Skull now, but that's okay. We, uh, we got a Ripjaw. I wonder if that Forest was actually going to be my next hit on a draw after when I did that commune, but I don't know. But that Ripjaw seemed pretty far in the bottom. What? Seriously? Seriously? That's not even... Ah, oh, come on, man. Alright, we're going to another match, guys. I know this is probably a lengthy video, but I promise to really show this deck off, and you're going to get it. Because I know the, mo the modern video, I jumped from a werewolf deck that won a game to an infect deck that lost a game that was supposed to win on turn two with an ideal hand. But things don't always work out in your favor. So I will play first. Let's hopefully beat this guy's face. And if he drops, you know what? He drops and it will just go off of that. Ooh, no. Uh, Mulligan, too many high drops. Eh, keep it. Not my first pick. Yes, put on top. Because a turn one commune isn't bad. I mean, I kind of have to. Or not a turn one, turn two commune isn't bad, especially with a caller. Because I mean, I've got three land, four land, my bad, four land, and we can run on that. The only turn one, oh, I, I'm calling it turn one removal. Fiddle push. Fiddle push? No, no fiddle push. Commune. Da, 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 da. Ooh, Ripjaw again. 
That was not even that tough of a pick. So I'm just like, hey. Oh, and he's a three drop. Oh, sweet doggy dog. Now my weird side's coming out. It's early in the morning for me. It's probably like close to 4 a.m. 4.02. Oh, 4.02. Oh, yeah. And if you guys noticed from my last video, you can't see my toolbar thing anymore. Um, I was able to get that out of my computer settings. <laughs> Ooh, Fathom Fleet Captain. Ooh. It's either going to be Grixis Pirates or Black Blue Pirates. I actually hate working on a Black Red Pirate deck. I wanted to do Grixis because of Hostage Taker, but the lands. The lands. Shivian Reef or whatever. I believe it's Shivian Reef. It could be wrong. Expensive. And I can't afford that, guys. I just can't. I make budget decks. Let's get this rip jaw out of here. Let's start doing some work. And I'm praying that um, he uh, doesn't get something to remove it right away. But if he would have to double burn it. And I would get to draw two cards, which isn't bad. Um, <clears throat> but I want to get that extra land out there to keep my rip jaw. Because Blossoming Defense, yeah. Ooh, two Blossoming Defenses. Do we straight out just play... No, 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 no. We don't want to remove anything, because if that happens... If we use Exelon's Bonding, we are setting ourselves up for a Fatal Push. I don't know if he has Fatal Push yet, but he might. Let's just get Ripjaw in there for something. Let's do it, Ripjaw. Grand, yes, he can swing and make tokens, but Ripjaw has got to start doing something here. We got to we gotta start the, the clock on him. We got to put him down. Because I can eventually get rid of one of those guys. Main phase. Yep, you go ahead and get in there. You make yourself some tokens, buddy. With Menace, that might... Yep. He's going to be all tapped out. If I draw a land, I'll gladly play the Ixalan's Binding on the, the Captain. Can't block, they have all that Menace. Cool. We're at the same life total. Land, yes. We're going to use these Seven Petal Groves real quick. Because I've seen where I've played and I've used my basic land. And was like, oh, hey, let's leave the non-basic land out. You know, it was a monocolor land. And then it get removed when I needed it. I was like, not a happy camper. Rip John, do your thing. Oh, and the best part is no more Fathom Fleet Captains are going to hit the board because of Vixel on the Binding. Do -do -do -do. You got anything, buddy? Yeah, you get in there for a whole six with the menace. We're going to have to stop attacking you. So I'm going to be putting myself in a bad spot. We need more creatures. We need a bigger board state than this guy. It looks like it's just black blue pirates, honestly. he might. He's probably going to have some flyers. If he's smart, he's running three or four pirate cutlasses, which are fantastic with pirates. I mean, you get to play it for three and get to freely attach it to any pirate. It's awesome. Oh, sweet. Doggy dog. Oh, that's right. You're only a two drop. Hmm. The real question here. Do we hit back hard with Rip Jaw? Do we hit him for six? So I do have two blocks. Oh, why'd I do that? Oh, I meant to get in there for the, the damage, but we're not going to. Pay cost. Nope. Nope. You don't get to do that to me. You no get to hurt my rip jaw. Try that again. I'm asking you. You don't get to do that. You definitely don't get to do that. If he's got Veras Contempt, yeah, you get to do it, but yeah. <laughs> he sent me a message. Oh, yeah, you don't get to Veras Contempt him 
at all this turn because hex proof. Go ahead, hit my rapture. Ooh, we're gonna force you to do a thing here. We're gonna hit you. Two, four, six. He can get it for six. I can get it for way more. Hammer skull, do your thing. Please don't drop. Please don't drop. Block, 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 block. I want you to block. You're not going to. Ooh, he's got a pirate cut list, though. That might be game for me. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good deal. Yep. Pirates are cool. Dinosaurs eat them, though. Same with cats. All right, so what do we want to use here? Um... Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm. What should we use? You know what? We don't need too much life. Let's get rid of a priest for... Let's get a ranging raptors. We want some land. Prey upon. We'll get rid of for another ranging raptor. I don't see any flyers yet. So let's, let's run on that. Let's get some extra land. I'm thinking about doing three ranging raptors in the deck, though. I hope he's not. I hope he doesn't think I'm going to be a smart ass when I say that. Oh my gosh, Mulligan. Mulligan. Keep. You get to go on bottom. I know there's two of you in the deck. I only need one of you on the board. And can I get a land? I got a land. Let's get our board. So he might just kill that off if he gets a chance. Drowned Catacomb. I feel like he either didn't have a swamp. No, he had a swamp. He might have just drew it, though. Are you talking in your sleep again? There's only... What are you talking about? You open the trigger. There we go. Ah, we got that out. Good deal. I don't want to make that guy pounce yet. Sacrifice. Responsibility. No, we no do that. We will actually price cycle this cast out. I need land. I need other creatures, actually. He's going to attack for one in the air, probably. Yep. No blockers. You're going to get to get me for one in the air. Or do we want to save that cast out? Ooh. Block the plank. Cycle that away. We don't need that. Cool, we got a blossoming defense. That would have come in handy before, but that's okay. You probably didn't see this one coming, buddy. You ended up walking the plank the wrong creature. That's okay, though. Should have maybe waited for another land, just so we can keep that guy on the board. Maybe I should start doing that. Waiting for more land. But waiting can cost you the game. But this also... Yep, I knew it. Blue-black pirate control. Let's see what we get. Oh, I can't even play you. Alright, we'll just pass turn. <sighs> da -da -da -da. He's probably also saving the Varaska's Contempt or something. Little fact, I'm not even... Oh, okay. Commune's good. Let's go get a land. Come to me, Sun Petal. whole lot of land was coming up, too. But we're not going to play anything because we don't have the mana. And I actually want to draw fit another land. So Ripjaw, we can call him safe. And hopefully it's not a plant. Hopefully it's a forest. I mean, I just went through three of them. Fell flagship. 
Huh. Interesting. I wonder if that's got crew. Let's have a look. Yep, crew for free. He doesn't have it. That's okay. Well, we might go to game, game free. See, I actually should have thought of that. Oh my gosh, come on. Because walk the plank, because let's wait. Please get me a forest. The only downside of Rip Draw is that two green. And I don't have a call around, that's my issue. Come on, buddy. Oh, and the best part is we get to use Savage Stomp in the combination with the Rip Jaw. Ah, tempting. You know what? We're at seven cards. Let's play one. Let's get it. And if he really wants to, he can get rid of it. It probably he's probably not long for this world. Let's wait. Yep, I knew it. Rask is contempt. Okay, you get to exile the ripjaw. That's fine. That gets rid of one of Rask's contempt. I know there's at least two. He's gotten rid of Two walk the planks already. I'm not sure how much more control he's got, but we shall see. <gasps> yes, Sun Petal. We get to keep Rip Jaw on the board, hopefully. Ah, oh, too bad. That's not smart. Oh, yep. Here comes a Vraska's content. No. Can only walk. Nothing. Okay. That's a good deal. I'll savage stomp the hell out of that. Okay. Maybe that. I don't know yet. We're going to kill something. Oh, he does have that. Target spell or ability. Crew that. Do need to get another creature on the board. That is the issue there. See, yeah, uh, pounce. If I had an extra mana. Oh, he's got me down to four. Discard a card. Ooh. We heard of a blossoming defense. Hmm. We're actually going to clear up this board a little bit. Oh, yep. Yeah. Ooh, nice ranging raptors. Let's see. Gotta get rid of that captain. I wonder what we can do here. Hmm. Combat. Get in there for seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. You think you have weight? Okay. You think you have game. Not reality. Ouch. Hopefully we can get rid of that flyer. And that guy. I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll see. Okay, Looming Altasaur. Not what I wanted, but maybe the Whiptails would be good in here. Whiptail would be great. Oh, a forest. Six. The hell with it. Oh, 
all my mana. And now you've got it. Let's just attack. Why not? I know I'm dead to the flyer. I just want to make my point across saying, hey, this is going to happen. Maybe I should have held that back. So you didn't see what my big scheme was, but we'll see. Loomings are going to come out because that, if that draw would have been a grazing whiptail, that would have been fan freaking tastic. You get inside board. Please don't drop on me, dude. I want this to be a good match. Please don't drop on me. I'll be so upset if you do. No, looming can go. Looming can go. Grazing. Grazing. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe this is interesting. What do I do? Maybe an appetite. Less of you, because I don't see myself hitting, needing to hit you, so let's go with that. Let's do that, shall we? Let's have some a lot of removal here. Yes, 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 yes. I will be playing first. Mm. Mulligan. Ooh, not what I want. Mulligan. Please be... Oh, I have to keep it. I can't go down to four. Put on top. Man, if I lose because of that, I'll be so mad. Or maybe I should have kept the first hand. I don't know. I mean, I had a crushing canby, but he doesn't always play flyers. And he's got that captain. But let's see. Those are the true. Play you right out. I know he'll have an answer for this first, and more than likely the second hammer skull to control the board state. But I've got a little bit of control of my own, buddy. Please get yourself a flyer, and please let me get a land. Yes. Please let me get a land. Got me a land. Let's just see how far the hammer skull gets to go. <sighs> Let's just see what happens here. I don't think he's got any other lands, though. I got lucky. He might. Oh, boy. Yep, walk the plank. I see it coming. Dirty, dirty guy. How dare you. If only that was a two-drop. Let's take it, because I want to see if he's going to play something else. Nope. Let me grab that rip jaw. Any order. Hammer skull, do your thing. Hammer skull? There it goes. He's probably got an answer. Is one of the plank a sorcery? I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. Oh, that's a good card. Let's actually, we're going to hold Ripjaw back. So I made that mistake before just shooting out my whole hand before having an answer to certain things. So let's do this. It wasn't a bad draw. Could have come sooner. Let's just knock you down to my level, buddy. Unless they all get plus one, plus one. Draw a card, yep. Hmm. Because I want Ripjaw to stay on the board. He's kind of a big threat to any pirate that hits. So let's keep him on the board and just hopefully we draw a Blossoming Defense. Or something to keep him. Oh, I should Oh, wow. Yep. 
That's rough. Hmm, okay. Honestly, if I can, I think I'll make Ripjaw fight and kill that guy. You know what? Let's play Whiptail. Let's play Grazing Whiptail. Let's go to combat. Hammer Skull's gonna get in there, do his thing. I'll probably have to take five next turn. I don't want to lose my creatures. And the only way I'm taking that guy out is with a Ripjaw. If he's long for the world. We'll see. See, he's got five cards and plenty of land. Ah! Well, yeah, he can't get a creature. But now he knows. Yeah, buddy, you can't grab anything of mine. But you know what's coming up. Yeah, my deck. I've I've had so many games. I've had Dire Fleet in my hand, and I literally could not play him because of my mana. It was stupid. He did a good pirate build. I'll give him that. Of course. Another Ravager. Ah. Uh. This is tough. Yeah, let's get a song. Just on the fact I get to block his flyer as well. Let's see if we can't figure something out here. This is why I need an hour of revelations for situations where I'm just like, ooh, I'm strapped. Let's see what he does. Probably hope I walk the play. Yeah, he didn't get, and it seems like he didn't get a whole lot of control this hand. He just got dire fleets, which is good for him. Dude, you've got lethal. No, he's almost got lethal. No, he's going to have lethal. Yep. GG, buddy. GG. Oh, I'm so tired. I did technically get a win, though. Well, uh, for that one dude who dropped. Also, it didn't help. I had to drop down to, you know, a five hand, which wasn't bad. It was almost a comeback, but uh, in this case, it did not work. I should have kept first hand. Just because I had my blossoming defenses on the ready. Yes, that's what you... You want to swing with both. Why would... What? Okay. Odd. Very odd. Very odd. Come on out, Ripjaw. You're probably not going to live, though. That's the sad part. Let's see what happens here. He really, he had the game. Brass is contempt. No? Yep, Brass is contempt. I don't see why you didn't just swing for game last turn, buddy. But okay. Are you wanting me to make a comeback? What are you doing? This is interesting. Oh, you want me to die to Dire Fleet Ravager? His trigger ability? Really? That's what you did. Okay, good deal, buddy. Even though you could have won like two turns ago. Alright, guys, you know what? <sighs> I gotta call it a night. It is past four in the morning. This is the only time I could have... Only time I found to actually do this video properly, you know, the green white dinos. I'm going to go back to the drawing board, not the drawing board, to the deck list I made originally. Three rip jaws, 
fantastic in it. Probably for the priest. Um, added removal and hour of revelation has got to go in there at least two, because it probably would have helped me out quite a few times. So, anyways, it is ran better. Um, just this this deck on here is not the same because it is actually missing a, a third cast out. Um, and the fourth blossoming defense. It's just missing stuff. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully this video isn't too long. I will be uploading it here shortly. And I will have the link for our sponsors, you know, humblegames.com in the description. Hopefully you guys, you know, make use of that because it does support the channel. And yes, um, part of their, their purchases does go to charity. Uh, thank you guys very much. And